Uh, mouse wheel doesn't work on this menu, by the way. So you have to actually click down. Uh, maybe you can, yeah, you can scroll with uh, the arrow keys. So slow walk. Uh, last time I bought these boots, and that's the only item upgrade I got in the Bloodmore. So this time I will be doing uh, Cold Plains and whatever the cave in the Cold Plains is called. Now the uh, unique fallen shamans can raise other fallen shamans from the dead. Not just the little minion guys. But the Act 3 shamans cannot raise other shamans. Since the shaman doesn't get a corpse. Uh, that's another thing you'll notice when you play in uh, older versions is getting stuck on um, well in that case I kind of jiggled up against a monster but it's a lot easier to get stuck on obstacles uh, the pathing was improved in later versions Uh, one thing you might be thinking, uh, since I said Whirlwind is, you're just going to do Whirlwind no matter what. Um, in later versions, Frenzy is a good skill, and, and some people like to play Frenzy instead of Whirlwind. Um, in early versions, like this one, 1.0, when you have Frenzy on your uh, right mouse button, and you right click, like this, you can just attack. You just attack in place. Uh, in later versions, you'll move until you run into an enemy, and then you'll attack the enemy. So Frenzy is a lot easier to use in later versions, and in the early versions, uh, you have to like click on monsters, or be left-clicking to move, and you'll like accidentally left-click on a monster. So it's not... Uh, it doesn't feel nice to play. Plus, Whirlwind is just so ridiculously strong.
Now, you don't have to kill every monster. Um, I just like to, when I'm doing a, a first playthrough, to just do a full clear. Uh, in particular, uh, a lot of unique monsters don't give like the extra experience that you're probably used to. Um, so like I've got Bishy Bosh right next to the waypoint, so why don't you just kill him over and over to level up? Uh, for two reasons. The experience he gives is not great, uh, so I won't really level up quickly. And if I kill him over and over, then I won't be getting new loot. Uh, he will eventually start dropping items that he's already dropped. Like if he dropped this, you know, and I kill him in the same spot, then he'll drop this again. And I'll show you that process uh, later, in a later video. Okay, that's where I'm gonna go. The cave. And if you're playing uh, version 1.0 yourself and using a guide like this, um, then you might be like, hey, why am I watching this guy run around killing all the monsters when he only says something like once every three minutes? Um, and so what I would recommend is because uh, typically you're going to play old versions in windowed mode, uh, You can just uh, have the video on the side while you play. And the reason you play in windowed mode is because if you stretch the game to fit your full screen, it comes like super blurry. And there's no multi-res mod for the older patches. I doubt that the multi-res mod works uh, correctly on Classic. Where the hell? Is that guy? Did he do that from all the way over here? Another thing that you'll see um, when I... It's really easy to see when I get to Arcane Sanctuary is the, uh, the aggro radius of monsters is much larger than the screen. So like, it's not uncommon in the Arcane Sanctuary to aggro some mobs when you step through the waypoint. They'll start walking towards you.
And so where that really comes into effect is uh, like the shamans raising through walls from long distances and the ghoul lords and the hierophants casting meteors and blizzards from like three screens away. Also, uh, the summoner can start hitting you with firewall. Um, like before you go down, like the end of the pathway, like at the end of the little figure eight bit of his uh, platform. But you'll see that when we get there. See what gloves I got. Attack rating. Ooh, attack speed. Wonderful. Let's see. That should give me a faster attack. Oops. Yeah. Every 10% increased attack speed gives you the next attack frame. Uh, and I think that's true for all classes until you reach the fastest attack frame. The cast rate works the same. Every 10% gives you the next attack frame. So 70% faster cast rate uh, for the sorceress is like 200% faster cast rate that you're used to. And I, you know, I guess 70% for the Barbarian as well, but well, you don't really need it. The only thing I'll ever cast uh, is Battle Orders, probably. But what about Battle Command? I don't use it. That looks spooky. Well, what about shout? Uh, defense is mostly pointless. Uh, in hell, the monsters have four times the attack rating that they're supposed to. Our armor slot is going to be quilted armor anyway, so. If I hadn't found this glove, uh, one of the next things that I would try to shop is a, a magic glove that just has attack speed on it. And slightly increased attack speed is 10%. monsters have teleport they gain life back and it's uh, I think it's not a fixed percentage so they can be very difficult to kill
especially if they just banish. Where did you even go? I might not kill that one. We'll see. Not gaining life back. Maybe that's on. Oh, there it goes. I can say maybe that's only in hell. But apparently not. And if they teleport like four or five times, then they just get all their health back. Uh, Lord Desist is very well known for doing that. Mm, got him. I might need a new weapon. Yeah, teleporting Lord Desist is very common. But fortunately, um, it, uh, you don't have to worry about fanaticism because it doesn't add damage. I believe. It's just attack speed. It's okay, uh, even at higher levels, to have cold damage on your weapon because you won't be using find item. So if you shatter corpses, it doesn't matter. And I'm not certain but I think um, the corpse spitters in Act 4 will eat a shattered corpse. But it might just be that their eating range is really far. Uh, they can also eat your mercenary and crash the game. If your mercenary dies. Uh, I don't know if they eat your corpse, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Six ninety two. I'm about to kill a super unique monster. Thirteen nine sixty two. That was what two hundred eighty. Not a whole lot. Oh, I reached level six. Spear mastery. Yes. For a second, I thought I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> uh, 
Oh yeah, and I need to look up uh, the requirements for a pike. But I can pick stats. Teleport. All right, he stayed in hit recovery. Uh, so the next item that I'm going to be trying to shop is going to be a spear type item with attack speed on it. I don't know if I can get attack speed yet. Should be. Some of these magic weapons I don't pick up because they sell for less than the cost of a scroll of identify, typically. What can I do for you? Uh, there's no repair all button, so you have to manually repair your items. Uh, enhanced damage. Okay, that's actually pretty good damage. 4 to 18 with an additional one to eight. How much money? 23, oh, never mind. Routine magic find. Uh, you don't want magic find, uh, typically. Until later levels. It doesn't really do you a whole lot of good. And even at later levels, you probably won't really use it. 
So is there anything with attack speed on it? Yes, okay, so I can shop attack speed. But I don't have enough money to buy a spear. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a pike and determine Hail to you, the requirements for the pike. Strength 60, dexterity 45. Okay. So I want 60 strength and 45 dexterity. Well, I can get the dexterity right now. And next I'll work on 60 strength. And that's it. Next time I'll do uh, over here, Blood Raven, the Mausoleum, and the Crypt.